This question is a great example of what I've said on other explanations so far. Don't let algebra get in the way of math. They are giving some clear things to do with these numbers. Just do them. Don't worry about creating some complicated equation to represent the situation. Just do what they say. One of the uh, planet's moons orbits the planet every 252 days. A second moon orbits the planet every 287 days. How many more days does it take the second moon to orbit the planet 29 times than it takes the first moon to orbit the planet 29 times? Let's not get fancy here, okay? How many days is it going to take to go 29 times for each moon? So 252 times 29 is, get your normal calculator here, 252 times 29 is 7,308. 287 times 29, the other moon, 287 times 29 is 8,323. What's the difference between these, right? We can subtract. Now I know in the way it's set up, it's gonna give me a negative number, but I know it's not the negative answer that they're looking for, so I'm fine with it. So 8,323 minus 7,308 is 1,015. Uh, that's it, that's the whole question. No algebra necessary, just, just do what they say. They literally say 29 times, just multiply and just let it be 29 times. Yeah, I'm sure that there are shortcuts where you can kind of get the difference between 252 and 287 to start and then multiply that by 29, but I don't think that's much of a shortcut. That's not really saving you any time. And if they twisted it, where it wasn't 29 for each moon, then that wouldn't work. So don't go looking for shortcuts when they're not really that short. Just do it the, the by the book way uh, of what they're telling you to do and just you know follow the most simple version of the instructions possible. You don't get extra points for being clever. You only get points for getting it right. And so I would say here, just be simple and just get it right by literally doing multiplication and subtraction in a calculator that's that's as good as math is going to get. And we're halfway through the section, so this is supposed to be a hard question. The reason I think it's hard is most people are going to think that there's some sort of elaborate equation involved. Nope, don't let algebra enter your brain unless you absolutely have to let it enter your brain. Just do arithmetic, and most questions become easier just by default.